wildlife areas, or wilderness areas. The landing of aircraft is prohibited on lands or waters administered by the National Park Service, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, U.S. Forest Service, without authorization from the respective agency. The exemptions include when forced to land due to emergency beyond the control of the operator, at officially designated landing sites, or an approved official business uh, on behalf of the federal government. Pilots are requested to maintain a minimum of 2,000 feet above the surface of the following. National parks, monuments, seashores, lake shores, recreation areas, scenic riverways, administered by the National Park Service, National Wildlife Refuge, Big Game Refuge, Game Refuge, Wildlife Ranges, administered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and Wilderness and Primitive Areas, administered by the U.S. Forest Service. Man, that was a nice long note. Federal statutes prohibit certain type of flight activity and or, and or provide altitude restrictions over designated U.S. wildlife refuge, parks, and forest and service areas. Federal regulations also prohibit airdrops by parachute or other means of person or cargo from objects from aircraft on lands administered by these agencies without the authorization from those respective agencies. On charts itself, it looks like a blue line with these little dots, and you'll see the name of the wilderness area or wildlife area above it and this little designation. So they're saying basically, hey, in this area, don't fly to less than 2,000 feet uh, AGL and don't drop stuff on the ground.